This is the village of Chakule, just a handful of huts tucked away in the mountains of northern Guinea. There's no running water here and no electricity. It's a world away from Manhattan, and yet it's here that the New York chambermaid accusing Dominique Strauss-Kahn of sexual assault was born. The alleged victim was the youngest of six children. She left the village ten years ago after her husband died, deciding to follow her sister who'd emigrated to the United States. But many of her relatives still live here, including her 42-year-old half-brother Bubukar. He only heard yesterday that his sister was at the centre of one of the world's biggest scandals. Since hearing the news yesterday, I haven't been able to sleep. I haven't been able to eat. It's God who has helped her. Since she was a child, growing up here, she's done nothing wrong. She's had no problems and no history with anyone until now. That's the truth. People who live in Chakule are devout Muslims, and Strauss Khan's alleged victim received a Muslim education, learning the verses of the Quran by heart. Her half-brother too is a practicing Muslim. He admits he hasn't been in contact with his sister since she left, but he keeps a photo of her on his living room wall to remind him of her. The nearest city is Labe, 80 kilometers away. There, despite constant power cuts, residents are more aware of outside events. It's also a shame for Mr. strauss can that his reputation has been tarnished. If it's proved true, if he committed this act, it's deplorable. Even if you're a president, if you break the law, you will be caught. This problem touched my heart because she's a woman like me. We trust in justice and we want it to be carried out. We want the wrongdoer, whether it's the man or the woman, to be punished for their crime. Thousands of Guineans, like Dominique Strauss-Kahn's alleged victim, leave their country to work in Europe, America or other countries in Africa. That's because despite Guinea's mineral wealth, half of its 10 million people live below the poverty line.